Right, we're less than 24 hours away from elections in Palm Beach County, and residents in Boca Raton will be voting on one proposal that would determine how long their local elected officials can stay in office. Suji Nam is live tonight with the changes city officials hope will be passed. Suji? Tiffany, the Boca Raton mayor tells me that he is optimistic that this amendment that will increase the number of years served will pass. He also says this is ultimately beneficial for taxpayers. City of Boca Raton Mayor Scott Singer proposed a charter amendment that would increase the number of years a council member or mayor could serve from three to four years per term. It would allow us to have better long-term planning with less off-sequence elections that will cost taxpayers more money in the long run. This measure should save taxpayers close to a million dollars over the next 10 years. Boca Raton voters can expect to see this question on the ballot Tuesday, saying in part that if adopted, terms beginning the end of this month would expire March 2027, and for terms that expire next March will be extended another year. This measure preserves the important two-term limit, but gives more of enough of a timeline for long-term projects to get done. Officials say the last time the city had passed an amendment of this kind was in 2006, where voters overwhelmingly approved the length of a term served from two to what it is now at three years. The mayor tells me he is optimistic this amendment will pass. This sensible election reform effort keeps two term limits, but makes our terms more the standard four years, which every other city in the top 25 in Florida has. And coming up at 6, I speak with local elected officials in the town of Juneau Beach and what's something new you should expect on the ballot this year. Reporting live in Palm Beach County tonight, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.